Oh, Pa, I'm starving. Could we just stop somewhere and try to get something to eat? Huh? What are you talking about? Haven't you been eating the pine cones like I told you? Well, well I had been, but they've been cutting my mouth up something awful, so I stopped. Well, ain't you the picky eater? I thought I raised you better than that. Well, if you must have your five-course meal, I guess we could stop for a bit. Ah, uh, that'd be much obliged, Pa. Say, did I ever teach you how to catch a fish with your bare hands? Well, you were gonna. Then you got distracted by that robin you said was spying on us. We had to go back to the ranch after that. Yeah, that sounds about right. Now we'll just make sure there aren't none around before we start this time. Well, all right, Pa. I mean, I don't see none this time either. Good. Now, first thing you need to fish with your bare hands is a fishing stick. But I thought we were fishing with our bare hands. Don't question me, boy. Just find a stick. Uh, all right. Uh, this one good? Yeah, I suppose that looks like it'll do. Now, just break that stick in half, because we ain't going to need it. Oh, <laughs> Pa, you done fooled me again. <laughs> I know I couldn't help it. I'll show you how to catch a fish for real now. All you gotta do is just stick your fingers in the water here and wiggle them around a bit. Get the fish's attention. When the fish sees your fingers, they're gonna swim in close and see what's what. All right, here goes nothing. Hey, is this good, Pa? Yeah, that looks about right. Then, when the fish gets in close, you gotta tickle his belly. It'll be so confused it'll go limp. Then you can just pull it right out. Well, wow, Pa, that sounds right about easy. Let's go get some fish tonight. Mmm, fish. Ooh, I got a bite. I got one. It's probably like a bass or a water or something. Hey, you know, I need it. I'll get it out. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, what'd you get, Pa? What'd you get? Oh, it's a toad. Oh, yeah, that definitely told right there. Them good eating. That grill up good. Mmm. I don't know, Pa. I don't much fancy for toad. Ah, right, boy, you just don't want to eat nothing. Well, no sense letting a good toad go to waste. Bottoms up. Oh, come on, Pa. Just put the toad back. We can get a fish. All right, I guess I'll let it go if you say you want me to. Go on, toad. Get it. All right, then, let's go see if we can get us another fish. Oh, Lordy, what is this? What is it, Paul? You got yourself a fish? Boy, this is gold. Gold? I ain't seen no gold. It's right here. Your finger wiggling must have stirred it up. Yeah, that don't look like gold to me, Pa. You sure that's what it is? Why, of course it's gold. You, what, you think I don't know what gold looks like? You can tell it's real gold because it don't got no moss on it. Why is that, you reckon? I don't know, boy. That's just how it is. You know, like the saying, a golden stone gathers no moss. Ah, so that's what that saying always meant. Oh, yeah, we're going to need plenty of gold for when we meet up with them bandits to get my cows back. Well, Pa, I bet they got a hefty ransom on her head. You think we're going to be able to scavenge up enough to pay it? Well, boy, if we can't, we're going to have to fight them. Well, I'm, I'm scared, Pa. I don't know if I can fight a bandit. Ah, don't worry about that. I'll start training you tomorrow. For now, just get looking for that gold. This is a gold right here. That's gold right there. I put out my pile for gold. There's another gold right there. I put that there. What you doing with all them rocks for, boy? Why, it is gold, like you showed me, Pa. But there ain't no gold out in these parts. Gold's out west. Dang it, Pa. You told me to look for rocks with no moss. I've been out here for like an hour. Boy, some days I could swear you got a screw loose up there. <laughs> well, that wouldn't surprise me, Pa. Well, better get the camp set up. It'll be good to get some rest before we set out again. Yeah! Oh, what in the flaming blazes, Pa? What are you doing? If I were a bandit, you'd be dead. Never let your guard down, not even when you're sleeping. That's your first lesson. Yeah, well, how am I supposed to keep my guard up when I'm sleeping? You gotta sleep with one eye open. Well, I only got the one, and that's gotta be closed if I wanna sleep. Well, too bad. Keep it open. These bandits are clever. They'll cut your eye out while you're sleeping if you ain't careful. Is that how you lost your eye, Pa? No. Of course not. I ain't stupid enough to let a bandit get my eye. 
Well, uh, that's the pulling out. Are we ready to move, Pa? Not yet, boy. Today I'm going to show you how to intimidate a bandit if you find yourself in a duel with one. How you going to go about doing that, Pa? Well, first off, call him a name like Ugly or Yellow Belly or something like that. They hate that door or something awful. All right, let me give it a try. Hey, you Yellow Belly! I like it. Good. Next, you got to spin your pistol to show him you ain't scared. Like this. All right, here goes. Ain't nothing scares a bandit like a spinning pistol. Oh, oh, Dan. Oh, look at that one. Oh, look at, oh, Lordy. Oh, that one scared him. Oh, you better run to die, baby. Ah, yeah. All right, boy, you think you got that? Ah, uh, well, I think so, Pa. Maybe a little something like this. Woohoo! Spinning pistols, scaring bandits. Yeah, well, that's not quite it. It's your first time. We'll, we'll work on it. Ah, well, I ain't never gonna be as good as you, Pa. I appreciate the input, though. Now, if that bandit hasn't run away from all that pistol spinning already, you're gonna have to fight him. But I don't wanna fight him, Pa. You got that knife I gave you? You gotta use your knife first. They never expect it. Well, we're sure I do, but how am I supposed to use this thing? Bandits are weak at the throats. You're gonna have to throw it at them. Now, boy. There's a real skill involved with throwing a knife. It involves the balance and the curvature of the wind. You gotta throw it just right to get it to land at your target. Well, that, that sounds awful complicated, Pa. Well, it is. Lucky for you, though, you got the best knife throwing teacher around. Now, watch this. Oh, I stuck that right in there. I predict that was a bandit's throw right there. Wow, Pa, that went right in there. Yeah, bandits can be gasping for air sooner or later. Yeah. All right, boy. Now you saw how it's done. Now here, it's your turn to give it a try. All right, Pa. Let's see here. Curvature of the wind is set. Balance of the handle, optimal. Well, I don't think that was quite the throat. Quite a bit lower, actually. But anyway, great work. You'll soon be an expert like your old pa. Oh, uh, I'll never be as good as you, pa. Nonsense. Someday, you're gonna be even better. Now, training's done for today. I'll just keep moving. Even better? Yeah, I like the sound of that. Uh, I'm a coming, pa. Get down! Beat it! He found us! Mavis, look out! Mama, let them go. We'll catch up. They won't get away with this. Uh, oh, that smarts, boy. They got me. They got you, Pa. You're bleeding. I ain't got time to bleed. We gotta get Mavis back. But, Pa, you're hurt. I'm fine, boy. He just nicked me. Don't worry about your old Pa. I'll be fine. <laughs> pa, are you sure you're okay? Oh, I'm fine, boy. Just the tuberculosis acting up again. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's better. It's cleaning out the lungs there. I don't know, Pa. You better lay down for a bit. 
quit treating me like a child, boy. I've been through much worse than this. <laughs> But, but, Pa, you, you could die. Cow man don't die till I say cow man dies. Plus, they say a little blood in the lungs is good for you. <laughs> yeah, I ain't ready to take over the ranch yet. You still got lots to teach me. Quit talking like I'm dying, boy. <laughs> I said I'm fine. Well, all right, but we better get after them bandits if we're gonna catch up with Mama Pa. I'll lead on. Mm.